I'm curator of paleontology, Dr. Julie McHugh, and we are here at the Dinosaur Journey Museum in the Triassic exhibits. Now, we don't have a lot of Triassic rocks in the Grand Valley. Pretty much all of our rocks are contained from the Triassic period in the Chin Li Formation. Uh, the Chin Li Formation is the red mudstone that makes up the base of Independence Monument up in Colorado National Monument, if you've done the hikes up there and seen that. Uh, but it's fairly thin. We don't get a lot of fossils out of it, but the ones we get are pretty darn cool. So we get two major types of fossils out of there. We get body fossils, so fossils of the bodies of the animals that live there, and trace fossils. Trace fossils include dinosaur tracks, and we get a lot of dinosaur tracks from the Chinle Formation. But uh, among the body fossils, we get fossil wood, we get fossil teeth from crocodile relatives called phytosaurs. Phytosaurs would have been a uh, river-dwelling ambush predator, kind of like modern-day uh, alligators, but with big, pointy, crazy, sharp teeth. And then we also get fossils of amphibians. Now, amphibians today include frogs, salamanders, and Sicilians, but the amphibians from the Triassic period are a different group. They're called temnospondyls. So temnospondyls is the bigger group that gave rise to modern amphibians. And these are some of the prehistoric amphibians that we have and we do find here in the valley. You can see that they have lots of teeth. They have lots of little teeth all the way around the outside of their mouth. And then on the lower jaw and on the palate, they have pairs of fangs. These guys lived in rivers and we know that because they have a lateral line system on the skull. Lateral line system is present in modern day fish. It senses electrical movement in the water. It doesn't work on land, so it's pretty good evidence that they lived in the rivers. And they were probably eating fish or smaller amphibians or anything else that they can find. Uh, these guys are kind of notorious among other temnospondyls. These are called metoposaurs and their heads kind of are the size and shape of a toilet seat. So these are often called the toilet seat head amphibians. Uh, their eyes are on top. They would have been buried in the sand at the bottom of the river and would have popped up like a scary jack-in-the-box and snatched a fish as it went by and then bury themselves back down in the sand and wait for another unsuspecting fish or amphibian to swim by using that lateral line system, detecting their electrical movement in the water, and then <laughs> lunchtime.